Hi guys, this is Pete and welcome to another episode of PC Repair for Dummies. And I think this might be episode three, yeah? Hey, I'll tell you what guys, we're getting going through these episodes. Now today, gang, I want to talk to you about vital tools or some basic tools that you'll need if you're going to conduct your own PC repair and a little bit of PC maintenance. And a lot of people are under the misconception that they need to go and spend four or five hundred dollars or maybe even thousands of dollars on tools. And that is certainly not the case. Now, uh, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a look at a basic little toolkit that I use on on-sites. It's a little toolkit that I keep in the vehicle and take out to new on-sites. Not worth much money at all. Something else I just wanted to show you guys, if you work in the PC repair industry, it is vital that you keep your workshop clean. Now, here's an example. All right, guys, have a look around my workshop here. Oh, look at that. Clean and tidy, hey? <laughs> That's not really my workshop, guys. My workshop's over here. This is just my storage area. <laughs> workshop's over there, guys. <laughs> See, it is reasonably tidy. All right, let's have a look at these tools, gang. What do you reckon? Now, this little kit uh, is available at Dick Smith's, and uh, this was only around about $60. Now, a couple of little extra bits and pieces that I've got is a nice little cordless driver. And that does save you a lot of time when you're taking out motherboards and uh, even just to take side panels off cases. All right, just uh, some basic little drivers here. Now this is a pretty neat little gadget. It's actually a star fitting. It's a little bit of a different type of fitting. Some uh, cases, some computer cases have some pretty weird types of screws on them. So that's a pretty neat little gadget. Uh, that's a rare earth magnet. They're as strong as rocking horse shit. And, uh, I usually use these just for clearing hard drives. I'll talk to you about that in another episode. This little tool here is an absolute beauty. Now, I'm going to show you what that's used for in just a few minutes. Okay, some pointy nose pliers, a half decent quality torch, um, and one of these Dubalakis. Uh, got no idea what that's for. <laughs> and uh, one of these Dubalakis. Oh, it looks a bit sexy. Got no idea what that's for. Uh, let me see. Got to have one of these doobies. These are an absolute must. Uh, got no idea what that's for. <laughs> of course, <laughs> some basic screwdrivers and uh, one of these doobies. Um, got no idea what that's for. <laughs> All right, guys. And another uh, must is a just a little multimeter. This one was only about ten dollars, and that's for testing power supplies. Okay, and that's all you need, gang. Just a nice basic little kit. Now, this whole kit all up uh, would be worth less than $100. I also like to carry an assortment of uh, screws and bits and pieces, particularly when you're out on an on site. There's nothing worse than doing a job and running out of screws, guys, let me tell you. <laughs> so, there you go. The basic toolkit. Right out. Now, who can guess what this little doobie is for? Eh? Three guesses, gang. All right, come along, I'll show you. They're a great little gadget, and uh, what they're used for is manually opening up DVD drives and CD drives. Now, have you ever had a case where your uh, CD is stuck in the drive and it won't open? Or have you ever wanted to open up your DVD drive while the machine was switched off? Well, this is all you need. Now, all CDs and DVD drives have this. There's a tiny little pinhole underneath the drive, and you just insert this in here like so. And voila, there you go guys, you've learned something today, hey? Now you don't have to have this special tool, you can use a, uh, like a paper clip or anything you like. Uh, but these are pretty handy because they've got a little handle on the end, you can sort of get your little fat fingers on them and push them in, you know. <laughs> there you go guys, hope you enjoyed today's lesson, some basic PC tools, and uh, how to open up a DVD drive that's stuck. Woo! <laughs> Until next time guys, love yous. See you later and happy computing.